Invasion can be stressful for both players, especially for lower ranked players. Hi, this is Z from Simple Baduk, and today we are going to announce a great news. Many players are having a headache because when someone invades my territory, I cannot capture that stone. If I invade, then all my stones get captured even if they are exactly the same shape. Before we get into the specifics, let's clarify some facts so you have less headaches when playing Go. First of all, there are several common types of extensions. Low 2 space, high and low 2 space, low 3 space, high and low 3 space, 4 space, 5 space, and sometimes even a 6 space extension. But 6 space extension usually happens when one player has some influence on the other side. And the first thing you have to remember is that we do not invade any kind of 2 space extensions. On top of that, try not to invade 3 space extensions unless you really have nothing to play. Just remember this, always invade areas that have 4 or more spaces. As you get stronger, you may want to invade a 3 space extension over a 4 space extension, depending on the situation. But try not to invade 2 and 3 space extensions until you absolutely know what you're doing. Regarding 3 space extensions and above, the thing you have to remember is that you cannot capture the stones invade 3 or more space extensions. That's just how it is. So when your opponent invades into your 3 space extension or 4 space extension, try not to capture it, just try to surround it or try to attack it for profit. And when you are invading 3 space or 4 space or more space extension, just know that you won't get captured as long as you play it right. With that being said, here's the news. We're starting a new free series on YouTube and we're going to learn how to respond to invasions to get maximum profit and how to properly invade to avoid getting severely attacked. As soon as you learn these responses and invasion techniques, you will no longer have to get anxious when you get invaded or when your opponent is expanding everywhere because you can invade and destroy everything. The first few videos are going to be about how to respond to invasions. In order to become a demolition expert, you first have to learn how to defend your stones. After we learned all the defending techniques, we're going to take a look at how to destroy your opponent's dreams of having huge chunks of territory. In this series, we're only going to learn the essential techniques. After we finish this series, we'll start to upload some fancy techniques and some AI techniques for those who want to further study this topic. That's it for today's video and see you next week with a proper lecture on invasions.